And good morning, everyone, and good afternoon to those of you uh, where you're just hitting the, the noon hour here or later. Uh, my name is Jim Rip. I am the moderator for today's webinar coming to you from Full Compass. Uh, today's we have Maggie Broussard, uh, who is a manager of video and control applications engineering at Harmon Professional Solutions. We're tackling a subject today uh, very pertinent for the times that we are in currently working from home and how to make that easier with the uh, Achendo Vibe. So um, I see there are still some of you logging in. Let's go through a few housekeeping issues here and then we'll move right into the whole meat of the presentation. So we have a question feature that's available to you. Go ahead and type in your questions anytime during the webinar today. We'll address those uh, later on at the end with a question and answer uh, session. A recording of the presentation will be av made available to all of you that are attending and, and I get, for those that did not, could not attend. So if you have to duck out halfway through, no worries. Uh, we will send that to you uh, after the webinar is finished. Also, we have a very, very short survey today um, that we are going to, that, that if you could fill that out, that really helps us to bring you better subjects in the future. So I'm going to introduce to you Maggie here. Uh, Maggie, I'm going to bring you online. You are live now with a mic. I am. Welcome. How Thank are you. you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm I'm doing wonderful. Where, where are you uh, coming from today? What What part of the country? <laughs> I'm physically located in the central part of the U.S. Um, I'm based out of our AMX by Harmon office in Richardson, Texas. Oh, nice. So it looks like here by your very short bio here that you have 25 years in the, in the industry and uh, coming from all sides. And, and you're the only person I've met that has a longer title than me. I'm manager <laughs> of technical, <laughs> technical training and sales development. Your manner of video and control applications and engineering. I guess we're about even. I haven't counted <laughs> the actual letters, but that's interesting. So you you you're very uh, wide talent and and well versed in all the technology there. I am. Thank you. Um, I originally came to AMX over 25 years, and we'll just keep it at that. Um, but most importantly, uh, from an educational background and from an educational background and then going into software development. Um, AMX at the time saw my need for the education market. Um, I've traveled all over the world for AMX, um, purchased by Harman over six years ago. Um, and I'm now managing the application team, which is explicitly focused on video and control. So we'd like to talk about our vibe and all of our products that we have available for people today in the working environment. Awesome. So I, I've sent over the presentership to you. So at any time, go ahead and take it away. I have, and we should say, yeah. see my screen. Let's yeah, share. The go to webinar screen. Oh, that's not a good thing. We don't want any of that. And we have it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Excellent. So we like right. to change. All yours, Maggie. I'm going to duck out. If there's a if there's an exciting question that comes in midstream, I will definitely uh, jump in here and ask you. Otherwise, the floor is all yours. Take it away. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Jim, and thank you, Full Compass, um, for inviting AMX um, to speak to everyone today. As Jim said, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to anyone that may be joining us um, in a later time zone. My name is Maggie Broussard. As we talked about, I am from Richardson, Texas. Um, I've been with AMX by Herman now over 25 years. And more importantly, the vibe um, and some of our essential homeworking products is what we'd like to talk about. What you're going to see today um, is an explanation of the vibe. We're going to also turn around and we're going to talk about um, our essentials, our audio kits that we bring in. As you know, Harmon is made up of many, many products. So if people aren't aware, we have over 12 families in the Harmon line. And again, the vibe is just something we'd like to talk about as a home workers tool. So with that, we're gonna jump into the vibe and why you might need it is because as we know, everyone has been affected by what's been happening over the last two months. Um, our work environments have changed drastically. We have gone to an at-home scenario. Some of us are starting to get back into the office workspace with extremely different circumstances and more importantly, challenges apart. 
So the Ascendo vibe is an essential part of that. And we have two different components with our Ascendo vibe today. We have a conferencing soundbar with a camera, as you see here, and it's what I'm speaking to you from today, um, as well as one without a camera. And why this is essential is because, especially now, we have our laptops, we have all of our secondary USB cameras, things like that. The Ascendo Vibe gives you an all-in-one package. I'm going to show you in a little while just what it looks like, but most importantly, the size conforms to our at-home working space, or more importantly, maybe our small huddle spaces, maybe our small meeting rooms when we do get back into our work environment from an office. Some of the things of the Ascendo Vibe um, is this camera, which is 110 degrees. Okay, it's a little ball camera, just like you see. We can tilt it, we can rotate it any way we need to, and I'm gonna show you that. And then more importantly, you have a visual indicator on the base of the camera that shows you its status. It's really simple and easy to connect. It basically has HDMI in and out, as well as a USB-C connector. And for those of us in the install audio group, um, it does have output control and display control via CEC, which means it can automatically detect and turn on and off your display. This is what the vibe might look like in your office environment. So you may have a display mounted and the vibe would be located directly underneath it um, based on the guidelines of your work environment. It's available in two colors, black and gray. And more importantly, it looks like a really modern piece of furniture. Now, here at home, I actually have it on my desk in my office. So there was no need to mount it because my husband doesn't want to do any sheetrock work. But more importantly, it just it sits nicely on my desk. And I happen to have my display on top of it. So it, it's very, very sturdy. It has a very easy to see and control um, interface right here, as well as a handheld remote. The Vibe itself works in any platform you might have, whether you're a PC or Mac, and it supports any UC platform. So it's a little, I mean, again, it's less than two feet long, and it just sits there, and it's very, very comfortable to use. How to set it up, as I said, simple and easy. You have an HDMI connector that goes maybe from your laptop, as we all have now, to the Vibe. It has a USB cable included, so it has USB A to B, and more importantly, a second HDMI out that goes to your display. How simple is that? Two HDMI cables and one USB and one power connector, and you are up and running. Yes, there's software that you can use if you want to set up, whether it's a four by three display or a 16 by nine focus. Yes, you can set up um, audio to come from an external source if you wanted to, and or it also does support digital audio. But in our simple home environments that we need right now up and working, two HDMI cables and one USB. Look at that, that's how simple it is. And when you look at it, you'll see that there's the power cord that comes directly in. It goes out to a display, this connection right here. You have in from your PC, and more importantly, the USB connector. Very nice also is that everything is labeled for you. Again, I mentioned that optical audio as well as an aux out and an aux in connector. Should you want to get fancy or more importantly, this is what you might be using in an essential room space configuration. In addition, you have the flexibility of a panel control located on the side of the vibe. So again, I'm connecting HDMI in, here's the USB connector, and you can say USB here from the PC directly into the vibe. Simple controls for being able to switch back and forth, 
setting up Bluetooth options are great. I was going to set up my Bluetooth so that you could hear how wonderful the sound is. And my phone battery died. Oops, sorry about that, folks. But most importantly, set up in cable ports located right there, quick and easy. One of the other great features, especially when you get into your essential space, is the ability to mount the vibe directly on the wall underneath your display. The back cable of the vibe comes off with one simple push of a button. You can then use the back cover to draw as a template for a cutout for all your cables and for your mounting. So the vibe allows you to then, when you connect it, to reattach it, insert the cables through the wall port, and then rotate the vibe back up into a home position. It actually mounts with two screws, and depending on what your actual application is, your walls, you might want to use um, dry screw anchors, things like that. But most importantly, everything that you need for installation to a wall is located on the Vibe and the instructions. So I talked about how easy the Vibe was to connect, but more importantly, we want to talk about the sound. And the sound of the Vibe is made by JBL another company of Harman. So why JBL? Because JBL, as we know, is noted in the industry as one of the best audio companies out there. We have a near-field microphone, so it will adapt to people speaking in the room as well as backing or getting rid of any background noisings. And the integrated DSP with echo cancellation for optimal audio use when we get into those video conferencing um, environments. The audio sources, as I talked about, are HDMI. You have Bluetooth connectivity, as well as an analog in and an optical in. Again, JBL. Harman, we know we work really well. Getting the best audio, and what I'd like to do is actually, one thing I like to do before I do this, is I would like to share with you my camera so that you can see what's happening in our environment. So in a moment, you're going to see me, and there I am, folks. But what I'd like to show you is how simple and easy the vibe is to be able to rotate my design and go across my room, as you see my near field, or I miss the office, and then more importantly, coming back to my work environment. If you're looking for that privacy, you have the flexibility of taking the camera and rotating it 180 degrees for privacy. You also have the ability in the software, as I mentioned, to turn the Bluetooth camera off. So, Pretty easy and simple, but most importantly, using my camera, I can identify what's happening in the room and then more importantly, turn it off. I'm gonna turn off my WebEx at the moment and that was how simple and easy it was to rotate the camera. Other things that we'd like to make you aware of is the great audio from your home PC as a home worker. One of the features that we have available to us is, in fact, our podcaster. So the podcaster is an AKG, another product of Harman, podcaster essential kit. In a second, you're going to hear me change my audio from the Vibe audio that I've been using to my Lara, which is our AKG microphone that is USB ultra high def multi-mode. And as you saw when I put on my um, webcam, I'm using my AKG 371 headphones. They all come in this podcaster essential kit. And the best part about this is it does not and is not um, PC or Mac compatible. They're USB. One of the nice things you see here on the Lara 
and I'm going to switch to that input right now. There we go. Is the ability for you to connect your USB and then to connect your headphones so that you can hear yourself speak through the LARA. The LARA itself has the flexibility of changing the inputs as well as muting the mic. If I mute the mic right now, you cannot hear me speaking. And when I just unmuted it, I'm back to speaking. So at your hands control, you have this wonderful microphone. In addition, this podcast essentials kit brings you everything you need. Great body audio, also works with your huddle space because you connect it up via USB and can be used for podcasting also. So the connections, as you see, it says USB, and these are the parts that are found in the Podcaster Essential Box. It comes with the microphone and the headphones. AKG. Why? AKG has been known in the industry for over 70 years as a great so audio. Maggie, Maggie? Yes. I'm going to jump in here. Can you, uh, we have some questions about the distance from the mic that you are speaking. Could you lean in? to the Lyra uh, a little closer so that we can hear a close-up sound of what that sounds like? Absolutely. How does this sound? Yeah, that's much closer sound. Yes. So and you're. It, it would appear that you're three to four feet from it speaking? Um, I actually, right now, I am about two feet from it. And oh, I'm, I'm previously, yes. So yes, previously, I was about three feet. You're correct. Yeah, okay. So that would answer that question as you get, the further you get away, it's still picking you up, but it's also picking up the, the room ambiance as well. That is correct. Got it. All right, all yours. Any other questions? Those great questions, thank you. A Couple of things about the Lyra that we'd like to do is it is built with a four capsule array. If we were to take off the, um, the microphone cover itself right here, you would see those four distinct capsules plug and play, as I said, USB. It comes with all kinds of different mounting. I'm using the desktop mic, but can also be mounted um, on a broomstick as well as on a mic stand. It has headphone out and mixing control, as well as, again, that AKG overload protection, so that when I really boom my sound in the room, um, it will do control for me right then and there. So the essential kit wasn't anything more than the AKG Lara mic and the AKG headphones. And why that's so critical is when we get into our huddle spaces or more importantly, in our work environment. Um, the dog you don't hear, I have my door closed, um, but you don't hear the dog barking in the background or when the kids come running in, mom, where's the juice? We ran out of juice. We're all on these video calls all the time. And most importantly, what we wanna make sure is that we have our headphones on so we don't miss any bit of that communication back and forth, because that is one of the crucial things of working from home, is the ability for us to listen and more importantly, respond as quickly as possible. When we get into our huddle spaces back in our environment, we have the flexibility of bringing in more equipment. The huddle space or our AKG microphones, headphones, our Ascendo Vibe, we also have that flexibility of bringing in our connectivity kit. And why is because I may have multiple inputs that I need to bring into my video conferencing. And the CTC 1402 shown here gives me that flexibility of video and audio switching along with USB switching. And again, it supports any UC platform. Little bit about the 1402, it is a transmitter and receiver pair. 
It has and supports VGA, DisplayPort, HDMI, as well as USB-C inputs and USB 2.0. The receiver has two HDMI in and one HDMI out, and you want that HDMI in so that you can have that confidence from that monitor. It does auto switching. What does that mean? The first thing in, the last thing plugged in will automatically switch the display. So you don't have to worry about what input am I in. When I'm on a video call, that's really, really important because I need to share multiple windows. I happen to have three windows here, a little eccentric, um, but day to day, I don't know where my video is. So with auto switching, whatever I plug in last is what's gonna show up. We can also do audio extraction with volume control and CEC again for that display over HTML. And another great thing, it's an AMX native Netlinks device. And what that means is for all the installers and programmers out there, when you plug it into the network, it automatically gets detected and will allow you that flexibility to be seen. Here's an example of where we might use the CTC and the Vibe in our huddle space environment. We have our 1402 connectivity kit. We have our USB device coming in, our KVM devices. And more importantly, as you can see from this simple this example, how easy it is to connect everything. I happen to be using Zoom in this example, um, but again, any UC platform is supported. Something that you'll need as our meeting spaces get larger are our AKG. And maybe you wanna look at our table mic solution, which is our CBL series. These are available for mounting on the table and they come in two different environments or two different models, the dual and the triple cover badge pattern. Why is this essential? It's because as our meeting spaces have to get larger so that we can social distance, we have the flexibility of either a two or a triple three element conference room space to pick up either 180 or 360 degree people's voices around the table. Here's an example of this. The CBL201 as a dual element gives that flexibility for two particular 180 degrees. When you look at the 301, you see that it's a triple element. So in a small table environment, in a huddle space, you may be looking at putting one 301, and then when you have your larger tables and meeting spaces, you can combine any one of these into your audio conferencing system. So once we have the microphones, then we need some speakers. And where do we go from there? JBL. We have a wide variety of JBL speakers that go from our small CSS 8000 series for basic all the way up to our very loud Control 300 format. And our price increases as so. So most importantly, folks, we have everything to meet your meeting space needs. When you have those meeting rooms built and we get back into that environment, you may need a scheduling panel outside the room. It supports Outlook, Google, and Office 365. It's a POE and it's available for drywall and glass mounting. Simple, it supports Outlook, Google Calendar, as well as Office 365 calendars. And most importantly, this scheduling book does not need any processor. It's a standalone system. There's two versions of it. It comes available in a seven and a 10 inch. As I said, wide mounting ranges. And more importantly, you'll see color coding. So as you get back into the work environment, and you have those huddle spaces and meeting rooms, you can look down the hallway. A green light means that the room's available. A red light means that the room is booked. And you have wide viewing angles, so you don't have to get right up on it. 
we literally have them in every one of our conference rooms and meeting rooms in Richardson. And it's pretty neat. Late at night, if I go into the building, I can look down and see everything green. It looks like a runway. <laughs> so a couple of different things that you've had and I brought to you is we've talked about our Ascendo vibe, which comes in two different models. It comes in a soundbar with a camera, which is the 5100 series, and the soundbar without the camera, which is the 2100 series. We brought in our AKG Podcasters Essentials Kit, which has this Lara mic, as well as the AKG 371 headphones. And then we actually spoke about our huddle space essentials for when we get back into that office environment. Now, we don't need to wait for the office environment to use that CTC 1402 kit because that can be extremely helpful if you have multiple things in your home environment and inputs that you need to switch to. So these are all of the functionalities of the AMX system that we've brought to you today. Um, I know I went a little quick and I hopefully we have some questions out there, but most importantly, these are some of the things available to you right now and today. And most importantly, we have that flexibility for you to work with Full Compass and deliver all of these solutions to you today. Thank you so much, Maggie. Um, <clears throat> we did have a comment that, that that came through during the presentation that uh, proves to me that, it, that it's a pretty good mic because it picks up uh, the vibrating of your phone. You could hear that you got a couple phone calls there. So that, that that's a good thing that you that it's that sensitive and it can it can pick up things like that. So um, at this point, if if folks, if you want to go ahead and type in your questions, I will present those to Maggie. Um, a reminder that there are a couple of handouts here for you that are available. Um, so go ahead and grab those. That should be in their control bar there. Um, Maggie, it looks like we're not getting many questions in, in a way that's that's a good thing. It seems to be a very simple, uh, easy to use product that uh, which it, what a lot of people are looking for, something very simple and easy. I think, Jim, one of the crucial things that we really want to stress, and more importantly, if you're working from home, if you can't find that integrated soundbar camera all in one solution, the vibe, 5100 is wonderful for this environment. I intend to leave mine here and make sure I have one on my desk so that I can continue to support when I get back into the office, all of our video calls and everything else. Every one of us on the video and control team here at Harmon have one of these and they're perfect. So I do have a question just came in. It says, uh, this comes from Scott. Can it be connected through Crestron controls as well as AMX? The Ascendo Vibe, absolutely, because it's not dependent on any um, control platform. The Ascendo Vibe is a sound conferencing bar. So sure, connect it up via your USB. It has CEC control for your, for your display and control your HDMI. Absolutely, Scott. Another nice feature, uh, I know we we can't uh, physically hand it to somebody so that they can feel it, but it, it's a pretty light unit and it mounts on the wall very, very easily. Uh, I know we use one here uh, in one of our meetings rooms as well, and it is never failed on us. It's, it's a great unit and we do have plenty of those in stock. So I know stock has been an issue through in the industry for, for quite a few. <laughs> For right. everyone, right. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're needing that camera, if you're needing that soundbar experience, and more importantly, you just want that all-in-one system, the Ascendo Vibe is available today, black and gray. I have to say we have actually more gray in stock and um, than the black, but still, get one today. They're at a great price, and Jim and the Full Compass team can provide all that pricing for you. 
Correct. Yes, we we will provide mm -hmm. that for you. Um, if you if anybody else has any uh, further questions, uh, feel free to email me at j r i p p at full compass. That's j rip at full compass dot com, and I will gladly mm -hmm. uh, answer those questions for you. And if I need to escalate it up to to Maggie, I will do that as well, or bring her in on it. Uh, but Maggie, thank you so much. Uh, for taking the time to present this to us today. I know in, in the world we have happening right now, literally everybody is wading through the working from home waters and trying to figure things out. And this this unit absolutely makes it so much more easy for everyone. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you all for attending. And again, if you have any questions, please reach out to Jim and we'll get those answered for you. All right. Thank you, everybody. This will end our webinar for today.